Hi guys, it's Sebastian. I'm here to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately, which is how do I save YouTube videos and more specifically how am I saving them to my cell phone? So I put together this guide that's going to answer everybody at the same time. Let me start off by saying that the Blackjack 2 is an amazing phone that can run lots of great software. One of its major downfalls, however, is that it can't support flash video. So how do we overcome this? The first thing you need is a desktop PC and it must be interwebs ready. If you can see this video, you've probably already completed this step. Next, we're going to need some converting software. I'm going to be using Replay Converter, but I'll come back to this in just a minute. The last thing you'll need is your Blackjack 2 phone and the USB data cable that came with it. Let's get started. First, open your web browser and find the YouTube video that you want to save to your phone. Let me take this time to draw your attention to the address bar at the top of the screen. Select and copy the contents of this address bar, because you're about to need it. Next, find a site that will scan the page source for the FLV tag and make a hot link. In short, go to keepvid.com. Paste the address of the YouTube video in this box, and then click download. A box will load just below that with downloadable links. You must select the FLV low quality option. If you try and get fancier with the other options, don't expect it to work on your Blackjack 2. I'm going to save this file to my desktop for simplicity. After the download is finished, I drop down to my desktop and the new file is there as get underscore video dot htm. From here, you can rename that file anything you want, but you must remember to change the extension from htm to flv. I should note that changing the extension of a file will prompt the computer to ask you if ninjas are better than pirates. Of course, the answer is yes. The next step is to open the program Replay Converter. Take a second here and make sure all your settings look like mine. Select Convert Video, and the target format must be iPod Video Optimal at 350 kilobytes per second. Let me zoom out here because it's time to convert the file. Drag the FLV file that you created from your desktop into this white box on Replay Converter. Then, click the Start Conversion Job button located here. A few minutes later, Replay Converter will let you know that the conversion job was a success, and on your desktop, you should see the new file which will have the .mp4 extension at the end of it. Don't worry because I promise we're almost done. All we have to do now is to get this file onto your Blackjack 2. Do this by connecting the USB data cable from your PC to your Blackjack 2. This should automatically launch the Microsoft Sync software. Select the Explore button located here, which will bring up the contents of your Blackjack 2. Then double click Windows based mobile device and you'll notice a file labeled Storage Card. Now just drag the .mp4 file from your desktop into the file for storage card and you're all done. So why isn't everyone using this method? Well, there's something that I've been leaving out. This process obviously relies heavily on replay computer, which comes at the hefty cost of $40, and it's download only so you don't even get to own it on a disc. While this is not an advertisement for Replay Converter, I should mention that I still love the program and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. Naturally though, a lot of you are going to start to wonder if there are any alternatives. And yes, there are. There is a free version of Replay Converter available, but it will only convert the first 60 seconds of a video, which doesn't even get you to Lilio Pluridon scene. Our friends back at keepvid.com have a second no-cost option. Back among the low quality FLV formats, there is the option to download YouTube videos already in a higher MP4 format, which is fine if you want to keep them on your computer, but they run horribly on the Blackjack 2. Alright, that's the full rundown and my time. For those of you disappointed by the lack of me in this video, I promise there'll be another Adventures of SIBO episode real soon. You guys take care out there, okay?